so. Hi. I can't. Alright. So. There comes a time in our lives where we have to be completely honest. That's whether you have to be honest with someone else, which sometimes seems hard. It seems a lot harder than being honest with yourself, but that's just because we lie to ourselves every day. And, um,. Lying to ourselves is not the same as lying to other people because when we are telling ourselves something in an attempt to make ourselves believe it or to make ourselves sound like <laughs> in an exaggerated ex way of explaining we're something that we're not. You know what I'm saying? That's like saying that, <laughs> that's like feeling guilty for doing something wrong or saying something wrong or criticizing someone and saying that you're a good person, you know what I'm saying? But I'm a good person though, you know what I'm saying? Like, okay, you're, you, you might be a good person, but you're still lying to yourself for the simple fact that you feel like a bad person for doing or saying something, you know? If that makes sense. It makes sense to me. But we all, we all sit around and we claim to be honest, you know what I'm saying, when we're all fucking liars. I mean, for real, like, you're not gonna freaking be honest with every freaking person that you come across, you know what I'm saying, for what reason? For what reason, you know what I mean? Like, if you're late to work for the third time or something and you don't really have an excuse, what are you gonna say? You're gonna say something that's a lie, you know what I mean? Like, oh, I got held up at the red light around the corner. Or, you know what I'm saying, there was a fender bender and I had to wait, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, for for like 15 minutes. You know what I'm saying, you, that's, that's, that's not a truth. You know what I'm saying, whether it's harmless or not, you know what I'm saying, it's, it's not a truth. So, when we, uh, when we come to these points in our lives where we have to be completely honest, it seems like a lot harder than it has to be because you're never completely honest. You know what I'm saying? Like you're never completely honest. Someone calls you on the phone and asks you what are you doing, you say nothing, you're lying. <laughs> you know what I mean? You're lying. So, however, I've said this before, and not to say that it's truer now than it was then or that it isn't. I have a problem. I have a few problems. I have struggles. I have things that I go through that I deal with on a daily basis that don't have to be so hard, don't seem like they're so hard. They're not so hard for other people, but they're hard for me. So. I have a kitchen full of alcohol. How fucking convenient for now. And like for, I'll say on Thanksgiving, on Thanksgiving or the day before Thanksgiving is when I retrieved this alcohol. <laughs> and. I have sipped it, like I have, like I've gone through maybe a, maybe 75% of a bottle of vodka over the course of probably four days because my body just wasn't feeling it, you know what I'm saying, but I was still drinking it. So I've got wine. The point is, I've got a kitchen full of alcohol, and it's not so much that I want it. It's not like I want it. It's like, like right now, like I'm not, I'm not feeling like, you know what I'm saying, I need to drink. I don't. I don't. 
I don't need to, nor do I want to. However, when see this honesty thing? <laughs> when there is the what the fuck is that song? Like, why would I want to listen to that? Like, in all seriousness, why would I fucking want to listen to that? There's fucking no way. Somebody's knocking on my door, too, and I'm like, the fuck, bro? What time is it? 4.23? Should I? <clears throat> so. Honesty. Alcoholism. <clears throat> Alcoholism is what it is. Now, I am in a place in my mind and, and such where I feel like I don't have to drink. So I'm not I'm not so concerned with whether I'm gonna pick up a bottle or not, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm not. I'm just gonna say that I'm not. Like I'm not. <laughs> it's not gonna happen. But that nicotine <laughs> those cigarettes. I have a problem with cigarettes and I need to solve that problem. That problem needs to be rectified immediately. Immediately. So I'm making this video in an attempt to be honest with myself and tell myself that I am a struggling addict. I give myself credit where credit is due, but where I am slacking, what I am afraid for, what I am concerned about, is my health and I need to stop smoking, so I've tried it. <laughs> multiple times and I have failed so I can't say I don't know what to do like I don't know what to do like holy cold turkey, right? Like holy cold turkey. But you know what? You know what? <laughs> it's gonna be okay because I am motivated. I am motivated. I may not have been motivated before. I may not have wanted to stop smoking before. But I do want to stop smoking now and that's that's a lot. That's saying a lot and even in the past couple of weeks I haven't been able I haven't been able to smoke worth shit like I've been down to like maybe five or six cigarettes a day which is nothing you know what I mean nothing and that's just because smoking a cigarette makes makes me fucking feel fucking sick so take that as a sign take it as what it is that the shit needs to stop and um it's gonna stop so Shit's about to get real in this house. <laughs> For real.